Inspecting uh, photograph yeah, yeah, Dalen's yeah. appointment calendar, I guess, for the last month. We'll do. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we can have you do that, to be honest with you. It's a public record. Um, Hope yeah. you have nothing to hide. Let me get uh, the chief of staff. Why don't you right. go to a conference room right over there? Thanks. <laughs> do, 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 do. child actor that they used to set up softball questions to Hillary last week. Good, good. Here to, uh, help you? here to inspect and photograph Dalen's appointment calendar for the last two months. Okay, well that's not something we can actually offer. And why would that be? It's a public record. It's not a public record. And why is it not a public law? Can you put that in writing and show that to me? Because I have the law right here. It states it is. Let me see that. According to section 308 of the Pennsylvania Right to Know Law. Let's see. Content written record, description of records. Uh, section 701, subsection A, that is a public record. Can I, can you, can I? No, you can go get your own. Okay, well then, you can... <laughs> I can what? Uh, as a, as a I'm, citizen? I'm not going to then provide you with a law that you won't let me read if, you, if you've got to print if it out If you right think it's against the law, then you prove to me it is, okay? I can, I just proved to you it was not. And if you don't agree, then go look you up section 708, the thing that subsection... You just read to me. That's mine. Go get okay. your own. No. And your name is? My name is Zach Hoover. I'm chief of staff for Senate. And you are not allowing the citizens to see the senator's monthly appointment calendar? That's correct. And why? As I, I, I've already said. Say it again. It's against the law? It's not a public record? Is that what you just said? I didn't say it's against the law. Okay, what's the I reason why? It's defined by law. It's not public record. What law? I'm done having this conversation. So you don't know the law. You're making up stories because you have something to hide. Is Dale in here? Okay, guys, we're done here. Is Dale in here? It doesn't matter if he's here. It doesn't matter. I'm a resident of his constituency, of his area. Yeah. So it doesn't matter if a citizen wants to talk to him? You can call and make an appointment if you'd like. I'd like to make an appointment right now. Okay. Um, you can call and make an appointment. I'm here. Let me make an appointment right now. That's just not how it works. Why does calling matter if I'm already here? I can make an appointment, can't I? No. You can Why? call and make an appointment. I called many of times and nobody picks up the phone here. Right. I called all day yesterday, all day Friday, and all day we Thursday. Due to a holiday. And Thursday and Friday last week? Thursday we were having an expungement seminar. Okay, so see how down. difficult it is to get someone to pick up and the Friday phone? We were here. So I've made the effort to come here in person. I would like to make an appointment. You can call and make an appointment. I've tried. Okay. You can call and make an appointment. I've tried. Okay. Now well, I've made the effort to like come here. No, I'm here. Why can't I make an appointment? Because you can call and make an appointment. And who would I talk to? Our scheduler. And who is he or she name? You can call and make an appointment. Now. And who uh, is her name so I can ask for them? Her name? His or her name so I can ask for them? Okay. We're done. Okay, good. This is going to go on my YouTube channel. This shows you exactly how you people treat constituents. And your name is again? I've already said. Okay. So you have a lot to hide and you will not allow me to make an appointment. You can call and make an appointment. I have called multiple right. times and I could not get through because you guys will not pick up your phone. So I figure since I'm here, I could see if I make an appointment. The door's right there. It is right there. And you can walk out at any time you would like because I pay for your guys and your salaries and everything. And I pay for this building. So do I. Well, then why are you being so difficult? The door's right over there. Right? I would like to make an appointment with Dale. Are you the person I need to talk to? 
Are you filming me? Absolutely. Are you a public? Did you ask him to leave? Are you a public employee? Why don't you? Is this a public building? Do we call the police if he doesn't leave? I, I beg you to. I beg you to call the police. I don't think we need to. Just I beg go. you to. Just go. Why? I'm here. I want to talk to Dale or make an appointment. Why is that so do? difficult? What are you trying to do? Make an appointment. What would you like to meet with Senator Leach about? Multiple things. Why don't you just call and make an appointment like I've everybody else? I've tried, and you guys don't pick up the phone. I tried yesterday. You pick up the phone every day. I tried Friday. Both those days you guys weren't here. I we tried were here Thursday. Friday. Thursday, we had Friday, we were here. here. Thursday, we were out of the office. What would you like to set up an appointment about? So you see how difficult it is when someone calls to make an appointment just call no so I'm here an appointment every I'm day. here we set you up an appointment. We set up I'm dozens here of appointments. why don't we set up an appointment now since I think I'm because here you're kind of threatening well what like, would you how like am I threatening threatened right now just you you would be call. you would be if you got so much to hide you would be threatened Dude, no, no one you has like ever no one has ever stood guard. here over and, me what? and demanded stuff and uh, not left when we asked so your to. boss has not demanded to ask a set an appointment is what you're saying no no citizens come in here and ask for make an appointment no no citizens come here in a threatening manner and ask There's no to threatening manner. I'm coming I'm here very, very kind. Right of now. course you are. That's a nice excuse. I feel very threatened by you guys right now. Why? You Why do leave. you feel threatened by me? You I can have leave. To be here. This is my work. And I pay for your work. Yeah. So So why are you, you treating can... your boss so crappily? What's that? Why are you treating your boss so badly? He's saying that he's your boss. Yeah. You're saying you're my boss? I am your boss. You're not my boss. How do you get paid? The taxpayers pay us, but we answer to Senator Lee, oh, who is okay. a steward of the taxpayer dollars. Okay, so I am his boss, which makes me your boss de facto. You don't tell him what to do or any of us what to do. Why wouldn't I? I'm, the, I'm, a, I'm a citizen. I'm the one that pays everything, and Can I'm the just, one that makes the laws. Why aren't you leaving? Didn't they ask you to leave? I, I have every right to be here. You, it's a public building. Look, I mean, it's I don't know. Public building. I don't well, know what this the laws are is. about, like, whether or not you're legally... I'm going to need to talk to you. If you're that stupid and ignorant, then that's your problem. So can I make an appointment from with her? Do I have to call? And what hours do I call? If I go right now to my phone... Actually, I'm going to call right now. And I will call right now, and I'll make an appointment. And who do I ask for? You can ask for our scheduler. Okay, and uh, his or her name? Just ask for a scheduler? Yeah, sure. All right. I can do that. I don't know why it's so difficult to make an appointment, you guys. Well, well we would need to know what the appointment's about. It's we about me having concerns about certain things I'd like to talk to the senator about. <laughs> that won't get you an appointment. We, every you every single person reason. who gets an appointment. I have to give you, yeah. you, yeah, nobody, you and nobody like you. You don't make appointments for people who, who don't give reasons for the appointment. Well, of course. Why would you abide by your constituents' wishes? I, I hear you. Well, that would be crazy, wouldn't it? We set up plenty it? of meetings. We never reject or refuse Guys, to meet. Just, we, That's we fine. But we need to know what the meeting would be so about. Okay, so that makes sense. And then, you know, he thinks... Yeah, I know you discussed it, uh, people coming in and asking to sit down with the senator. How, how crazy is that? You're the only person I think who's ever treated us this way. Treated you this way? I mean, very yeah. kind and very generous. I'm trying you're, to think of any of you. You're the only people I've ever seen. I've been to many offices, and you're the only one that's been threatening like this. That's amazing to me. I mean... I can't recall any time anyone has I can't ever recall anybody ever treating me so poorly. I agree. I agree. And, and how dare you? How dare me? Yeah, how dare you? I've done nothing wrong to you. I've asked to make an appointment. I think we're treating you like we treat every other consumer. If you treat everybody like this, then no wonder you guys are, are the way you are. Why don't, why don't you just do it like everybody else does? What's the number here? It's a public record. I'm sure you can find it. I, I have it on here. I got three or four different numbers here. I forget which one it was that I called. Oh, read You called on uh, Thursday, Friday, and Monday, right? Okay, I'll call right now. Did you leave a message? No. No, I figured you guys would pick up. I figured you guys would pick up. Okay, there's your phone ringing. Let me make an appointment. Yeah, can I talk to the scheduler, please? This is ridiculous. You are ridiculous, the way you treat constituents. That's really mean. It is really mean, how you guys make me come here because you won't answer your phones and then you tell me I have to call, so now I'm calling. It is mean, and it's, and it's actually unbelievable and very exactly. ignorant the way you guys treat people. What do you want to, like? I beg of you. Now I'm calling, let's hope I can make an appointment. This is what needs to be done. All right, Zach, can you pick up the phone? Hey, Zach. Hi, Zach, what's up, buddy? Can I make an appointment with the, the senator? Uh, what would you like to meet with Senator Leach about? Uh, there's four or five subjects I'd like to discuss with him. One is um, voter fraud. The other one would be um, his voting record. 
And the other one would be a few other things that I'd rather not discuss with you. It's kind of personal with he and I. Zach, can you take down this caller's information? Yeah, sure. Can I have your first name and your last name? Yeah, my name is Dan. Last name doesn't matter. And uh, you can reach me at 610-405-4650. Right, Zach, can you tell this caller we'll check the senator's schedule and get back to him? Yeah. Can I also ask your, your mailing address just to make sure you're a constituent in the district? Uh, I live in King of Prussia. Right off of uh, Cayley Road. That's fine. Okay, well, I'll talk to, uh, you know, our chief of staff and our legislative director, and I'll go over the schedule with Senator Leach, and we'll see when he's available. I could give you a call back sometime this week. All right, very good. I'll expect a call back then, hopefully before Friday. Talk to you soon. Thanks. So that's a yes? No? Hello? Hello? Okay. Well, if I don't hear a guy from Friday, I'll, I'll swing by again, I guess, on Friday or something like that, and hopefully I can meet with him. All right, guys. Thanks. And I, I can't look at his uh, schedule real quick, his, his appointment no. calendar? No. All right. Can I do a public records request on that, I guess? You could, but the public records office will tell you that a legislative appointment calendar does not qualify as a public record mm. under the open records law. Okay. All right. Well, you guys have a great day. I appreciate it. Thanks. Don't be so angry, buddy. <clears throat> yeah. Take care.